How do I get started recording in Reaper? Well, if I just hit record, there's no tracks armed for recording. What does that mean? Firstly, we need a track upon which to record. So if we double click here, that's the best way to insert a new track or else go up to track, insert new track. So you see, I've got, I've got two tracks here. If I hit record, it still won't let me record because there's no tracks armed for recording. So basically we have to choose which track we want to record on. For example, if I've decided to record on track two, I hit the arming button there. I make sure that record monitoring is off because I don't want to hear my voice back through the speakers as I'm recording. Um, I do that by, that toggling by toggling that little speaker to be off. Now I can actually hit record and you'll see Reaper there recording. But it's very important you double check which microphone Reaper is recording through because if you actually have plugged in a USB mic, you don't want Reaper recording through your uh, sort of substandard inbuilt laptop microphone. So head up to the audio settings in the top right of the screen and just click on that. It takes you straight to the audio device menu. At this point, just make sure you're either in direct sound or wave out modes unless you actually have an expensive ASIO audio interface connected. So I'm going to choose direct sound and I'm going to force Reaper to use the Rode NT-USB microphone I've just plugged in. The output, uh, you could choose your AirPods or the Rode NT-USB. Um, it has a, he a headphone jack. But no, I just want to use my regular speakers and say OK. And then I'm good to hit record. Now, if I've already recorded something and I want to record just after it, I just position the playhead after it and hit record. That way I can record a little bit of my dialogue, stop it, take a break, position the playhead afterwards and record the dialogue. And then I can shift them around. Uh, ideally, I'd probably turn off the snap so then I can fine tune the positioning. Uh, we've learned previously that splitting is as simple as um, selecting an audio item and hitting S at the point you'd like to split it. If you've perhaps um, coughed and want to just cut that out, you can just trim the edges and get rid of the bits you don't want. In the next video, I will discuss how to set the uh, input gain level because if you see here, the average is sort of uh, around minus 24 there, isn't it? And occasionally it's peaking up around minus 18. I'd rather actually, if we had the average around the minus 18 mark with the occasional peaks going up to minus 12. So let's look at that in the next video.